Hey, what's up, YouTube? Elric Ferris, Editor-in-Chief over here at the YouTube channel called Tech of Tomorrow, my alternate channel. Well, a few days ago, I brought you guys a little opening thing of the new MacBook Airs that were hitting the market. So today, I'm going to actually show you what's inside the box this new MacBook Air, how well it performs, and how it competes against its other competitor, the MacBook Pro. So we went over a few things again, we'll go over. It's got a unibody design, it's made of aluminum, it's very light. It has an SSD drive built in to the unit instead of having a standard hard drive. So this may make it seem very fast because you'll be able to access programs faster using an SSD drive. So for gaming, this is a good thing. Now, it also is coming between $999 and coming out at about $1599. So far, what we've seen is battery life is about five hours in standard running mode and about 30 days is supposed to be the idle standby time. Haven't had it for 30 days, so can't really tell you that one as of yet. So inside of the box of the new MacBook Air, we get the MacBook Air itself. We also get the charger. Now the battery is actually built into the unit, so there's no actually separate battery. And also the OS comes on a thumb drive since there's no optical drive, you know, option in the unit. For those of you wondering, it comes shipped with iLife 11 and the latest Mac OS. It also sizes in very thinly at 0.68 to 1.1 inches. The unit that we're looking at today is the 11 inch one. And this one has a 1.4 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo processor with three megabytes of shared level two cache. It also has two gigabytes of onboard 1066 megahertz DDR3 SD RAM. It's got 64 gigabytes of flash storage. This one has an 11.6 inch digital LED backlit high resolution glossy widescreen display that has a 1366 by 768 pixel resolution. This model features the NVIDIA GeForce 320M graphics processor with 256 megabytes of DDR3 SD RAM, which is also shared with the main memory. It also has a built-in InSight video camera like most Macs. It has two external USB 2.0 ports, a headphone jack with built-in stereo speakers. It also has a main display port jack. Okay, so here we're going to take a look at, at the benchmarks. From just the performance scores as numbers go, it's not as fast as the MacBook Pro, but it will seem faster to a lot of people due to the SSD RAM and the, the fact that it has the SSD. When you play games and stuff, this is going to be a pretty fast machine. So don't really take all these scores as your final decision point because actually in our just um, what I would call the usage test, playing games actually works really good. So the numbers don't count them all into your equation because the thing really does run pretty well. So we've seen the specifications, we've seen the scores, we've talked about the features. So what this really thing is, is it's really an over-the-top netbook. Because this thing is just really lightweight, and for $1,000 at 11.6 inches, it's, it's a little bit pricey. But there are some really cool things about it. A, it will play your games. So to me, this is kind of like a really like introductory kind of gaming Mac thing, you know? So it does fit that criteria. So you know it's very lightweight. It's very portable. The storage on it, it's pretty fast. Thousand bucks, a little bit pricey. But really, for those who are traveling, probably the number one greatest feature of all is that when you take this thing to the airport, you don't have to take it out of your bag. That's an excellent feature. So at the end of the day, here at Tech Tomorrow, I give this thing a pretty badass award. It's 999 bucks, but like I said, it's very lightweight, portable, can play games, has a lot of cool stuff. So thanks for watching. For those of you who are Mac heads out there, you'll be pretty excited out there. For you PC guys who hate, keep it to yourself. It's just another review.